Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to episode 16 of XCOM GG Within. And it is New Year's Eve. Or New Year's, it depends when you're watching this, because fuck it, why not? So, last mission we had to put transponders on a train and then move the train, and I failed! First mission I failed, which I'm still kind of annoyed about, really. But nothing I can do now. So, we did get Totem promoted, which is kind of a good thing, but one square away from actually completing that mission. So, that kind of sucks. And then we do have Illyrium and the Thermal Generator done in two days, which would be great. 11 days for the Sassite, and if the Council give me another mission, I'm going to go tell them to fuck themselves, because their missions suck. Anyway. Where was I? Well, there's not really anything to do, so pretty much just gonna scan. Oh, we got a workshop rebate of 20 credits. Sweet. So I don't think we can uh, we can actually build anything right now. We have the cybernetics lab, we've got the satellite uplink, alien containment. We don't have enough funds to excavate anything anywhere. Unless it's right near the top, which kind of sucks. You know what? We're going to excavate this bit because I want to build another lab to help improve our research time. So, yeah, that's a scanning. Uh, scanning? Yeah, scanning. That was right. So, Illyrium, what, what do we get for the Illyrium? So, manufacturing this element is beyond our capabilities. We'll only be able to use whatever we recover from alien aircraft. Uh, improved arc thrower product available in the foundry. Jelly delirium product available in the foundry. What the fuck does that mean? So, the improved arc thrower. Power of the arc throwers. We should increase the successful stun rate in combat. That's nice. I haven't actually used it yet. So, tactical situations, blah, 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 blah. So we could devise a formula to increase... Ooh! Flamethrower effectiveness! That sounds like fun! So, uh, we now have the option of making Titan armor! Interesting. I want Titan armor now. But I can't do that, because... Well, I don't have enough shit, so... Never mind. Scan for activity! Commander, our intelligence sources indicate that a previously unknown organization is attempting to undermine XCOM field operations. We believe this group harbors some misguided sympathies for the invaders and is intent on acquiring alien technology and artifacts critical to your efforts. Early reports indicate this organization calls itself Exalt. We trust you will isolate the source of this new threat, and eliminate it. Commander, the Council has provided some additional resources to help us deal with these traitors. We can begin scanning for additional Exalt cell locations, and launch covert operations to disrupt their activity via the Situation Room. Right. Unchecked alien activity has called mass hysteria in Canada. They're in danger of losing them from the council. Damn it, I need to keep Canada. Fuck. Oh, okay, this is just to get us... Fucking really? Okay, so Exalt are basically traitors. They, tr they want aliens to do well, essentially, which is bullshit. Like, I don't have enough things to do right now. You fucking bitches. Oh man, look at all the yellow. Something tells me I'm close to losing my first country soon. So, we need to choose a soldier to infiltrate the Zulk cell you selected and recover vital intel that would help you lead to the Zulk base. A few days of covert activity, this soldier will be available for extraction, blah blah blah. So, covert operatives are restricted to pistols. That sucks. Cover operators have a powerful in-mission ability, Exalt Com Hack. If you can find an Exalt Com Array, 
Look over on Proactive can hack it. Negative. That equipment should be passed on directly to the research team. Shut up, Central. Heavy soldiers and met troopers are inalienable for covert ops. Dude, well, obviously, because they bloody stick out trying to blow shit up. Go figure. Alright, well, I don't want... I don't really want any of my uh, top guys out there. And I don't really want a rookie or... Well, I guess it means the only one I can really choose is probably this one. You tell the men we can't have them bringing back alien body parts as souvenirs. It's a breach of protocol. Jesus Christ, Central, go away. Okay, we're going to give him a laser pistol, and... Well, that's it, basically. So, it ain't. Have fun. Alright, so basically, we got to keep getting in, so then eventually we find their base, we go attack it, we destroy them, and then we don't have to worry about them anymore. But they're intent on making our lives, specifically my life, very fucking difficult. As if the last mission didn't go badly enough, now I've got these assholes to deal with. Fucking great. As you can tell, I'm fucking thrilled with the idea. Fuck you. Much larger than anything we've previously encountered. Ah, shit. Best equipped fighters if we're going to engage that ship. <sighs> this is the one I've, I'm thinking of. We are about to have a really bad day. Because I remember this from Dom's playthrough. I bet it's... It, it is, isn't it? Fuck, it's the battleship. Alright. Alright. Keep an eye on the damage. One more hit. Okay, four. Disengaging. Leave. Alright, UFO. I don't think we're going to be able to bring this guy down. I'm going to try, but I don't think I can do it. Um. Okay then. Leave report, I guess. Whoo, this is gonna be fun. This is the battleship. Clear, 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 clear. Right. Dom, we're gonna need you. Actually, clear, make items available, except... Where was I? Dom, we're gonna need you. We're gonna need Ashley. We're gonna need Jen. We're gonna need DG. And fuck it, I'm bringing Kel as well. I do not like the idea of doing this mission without Kel. And just to be on the safe side, we're gonna bring Sparky. So, edit unit, load out. Uh, DG, you got the flamethrower. Damn, we still don't have the fucking heavy lasers. This is not gonna be fun. Edit unit, load out, armor, laser, laser, scope, back, back, edit, load out, carapace armor, laser, laser, arc throw, I might as well try and get something, edit, load out, armor, laser, laser, medikits, Edit, load out, sentinel. Alright, I thought I'd already seen that, but guess not. And then Sparky! How you doing, Sparky? So, LMG, launcher, frag grenades. Alright. This is gonna suck. Yeah, you can't tell. Not the this at all. Because this is gonna fucking suck! Dropship has <sighs> Do an episode for New Year, he thought. It'd be fun, he thought. Next deployment site is in the UK. Hey! Yeah, it pretty much landed in my backyard. The crash site is in a remote Sweet. area, away from any major city centers. 
We should get down there and secure the site ASAP. Okay, so they have meld here. Oh god, this is gonna be bad. Um So basically this entire thing, the entire map is pretty much the entire ship. So hopefully my knowledge and remembering ability of Dom's playthrough is going to be very helpful to this. But my memory sucks, so I'm obviously not going to remember full stop. Alright, Dom, up there, please. Could this be the ship responsible for the attacks taking place during the alien abductions? Kel. Fuck, I don't know. DG. Uh, Sparky, how far can you go? You go there. Ash. No, oh, fuck it. Let's just make one big fucking target of ourselves, shall we? You can go there, I guess. Hopefully nothing comes for us, because if they do, Jen, you're fucked. Uh. Alright. So, Meld is on the other side of here, and it looks like there's two ways down into this section. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to have Sparky go here. Jen, you're going to go behind him. Ash, I'd like you to go here. DG, you're going to go here. No, Jen, not you. Fuck's sake! <sighs> Fuck it. I'm just gonna overwatch everyone now. Alright. Tom? Pop the door. There are holding tanks of some kind. As repugnant as the thought may be, this is most likely how they keep their latest test subjects in life. Okay, so we have three floaters and the meld. Dom, you're going to grab the meld quickly. Collect. And seeing as you're there, open fire. 100%. Why the fuck not? Ashley, you are going to go here. You have the height advantage. You have a 62 and a 42. We're obviously going to go for the 62. Full Ash, totally out. Excellent. Kel, you are going to go right there. Oh, hey, look. There's a... Why can't you fire? Because you can't see any targets. Okay. In that case... Oh my god! I don't really want to destroy too much. So if we can get it... You know what, we'll use that as a last resort, I think. Sparky... Not really going to be anywhere safe for you, is there? You may have to stay there, mate. Now, get over to this door for a second. Jen, you go there. And hunker down. DG. Stand there. Ooh, that's not very good. You know what, probably better you Overwatch. I'll have Kel Overwatch as well. Sparky, you may as well Overwatch too. That's not the ideal option, but uh... Alright, 
Alright, he's gonna back off. Fair enough. I'm not entirely sure which way I'm supposed to be going here. I guess I'm supposed to be following this way? Uh, I'm guessing this is another... Yeah, okay, so it's pretty much symmetrical. So... What do I want to do? Do I want to go right through the middle? Or do I want to... Hmm... Right, get over there. I think we're going to stick to this side. Get ready to go through this doorway. Sparky, get there. Ashley, you have to go there for now. Kel, you get up here. Jen, you get there. Okay, Jen, hunker down. Everyone that can overwatch, overwatch. So we're just going to wait for a second. Ashley, we need you to get you on the door. Open up. Who do you see? Okay, we see the flow so that decided to try and run for it. Ashley, fire. Okay, that floater is now no longer an issue. I'll leave you there for a moment. Pop this door. Alright. In that case, we're going to have you... I'm on it, Commander. Run there, Jen. Again, hunker down, because you're pretty much useless at this point anyway. That's affirmative. DG. Systems engaged. Dom. Sparky, Overwatch. DG, Overwatch. Cal, you're going to go all the way up. To yeah. Location. I'm going to turn this camera because it's already annoying me. There we go. Uh, Overwatch. Okay. Okay, so there's some out. Is that outside? I'm gonna guess that's outside. Okay. DG. Move up. Kill. Move up. Genesis. Moving. Move up. Ashley Hollas. Dom, you just overwatch for now. Overwatch. Genesis hunker down. Sparky. Hmm. Sparky, you're gonna go here. Hopefully you don't see anything. Good. Alright, DG, overwatch. That's not good. And three thin men. Okay, DG and Dong got an overwatch. One thin man down. Well now. This, uh, sucks to be Jen. Um, yeah. Dom, you can only see that one. DG. You can also only see that one. 
Actually, you can see two. Alright. Kel, you can see all five. I'm thinking of doing something really, really stupid. Alright. One dead. Genesis, we can't get you over there, but we can get you here to safety. Well, relative safety. You know what? No fucking about with the chrysalids, because... I mean, they're fucking chrysalids. So... Hmm. Hmm. Is that going to be worth it? Firing Do it. Alright, that's the thin man. Just a crystal left. Good job, Sparky. No one else has eyes. And no one else has grenades. I've used them all. Alright, Ashley, over there. 72, take the shot. Whew! Overwatch. Overwatch. Wow, I thought Jim might have been a goner then. Damn. Well, it's New Year's, so it's always good to have a few fireworks. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay. So let's have a look at our ammo situation. Ashley, you're running low. Get back onto this door. Reload for me. Kel, you're good. You're just going to overwatch. Jen, you're okay. Overwatch. Sparky, you're okay. Overwatch. DG, you're okay. Overwatch. You're okay, but... Reload anyway, just to be sure. Oh, that was a tense moment. Ah, oh, there's still things back there. Do I want to press on, or do I want to hope they come for me? Open the door. Oh, wow, this isn't open at all. You know, totally not gonna have a complete and utter clusterfuck in here. That said, it also looks fairly clear, which is a good thing. So, Ashley, would you please get there? Kel, you're gonna get there. I hope you don't. Yeah, you didn't. That's good then. Sparky. Sprint. DG. You're going to go there. Fortunately, I am essentially using you guys as shields, but well, let's face it, I don't really have a lot of option here. And we'll have Jen here, and we'll have him hunker down quickly. DG can overwatch. Well, pretty much everyone else can watch. So hopefully... Anything? We lost the meld. You know what? We're trying to take down a battleship? I don't think I really care. Just saying. <sighs> okay. DG. On my way. What can you see? Mm, 
not a lot. Okay, apparently we are actually at the end. I've only just noticed. So we do have to go back and take out whoever was behind us, which I'm assuming was probably in this vicinity. So that's what we're going to work towards. So, did you can go there? We're essentially, just making a loop around. Uh, Dom, you're going to go there. Ashley, you're going to go down here, actually. Sparky, you're going to go here. Jen, you are going to haul ass into this little corner. Sparky, you're going to overwatch now. Dom, you are also going to overwatch. Ashley, you're going to overwatch. I'm pretty sure they're coming for me at this point. Moving out. Kel's going to go as far as he can. And then overwatch. And now we wait. Yeah, so they are in that general direction. So we are going to have to pack up on the top of this door right here. I'm going to have a small team. Get up here, though. I'm on it, Commander. Slowly getting used to these controls. I've got to be honest. It's not easy. But... All right, Kel, when you Overwatch, where you are, Jen, over there, please. DG, right. Right in front of the door. Overwatch. 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 Let's see. Pop the door. Okay, this room is empty, which means they are Probably over here somewhere. In that case, Don. Get right into this corner. DG. To the edge of the ramp. Jen. That corner there. You there? Well, no. I want you there. Sparky, you're going to go there. And again, we're going to overwatch. 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 And now we wait. Quiet. Do you hear something? Whoa, hold up. So they're in this bit? That's where we came from. How are they getting... How the hell are they in that bit? No, wait. Oh, we came through here. Not through. Ah, I see what's going on now. Uh -huh. Alright. In that case, get your backside there. Get your backside there. Get your backside up there. Overwatch. Why won't it let me overwatch when someone's still moving? That's really annoying. So I want to get on with it. Okay. Overwatch. I completely ignored essentially that entire side. Uh, Jen. You, my friend, can go there. Location right confirmed. there. Count. I want you to overwatch. Alright. I think that's everyone. Oh, no. It's not actually. Okay. Dom. Into that corner. DG. Right there. Ashley. There. Jen, you're going to overwatch. When people stop moving. There we go. Sparky. 
want you there. And Kel, I want you there. Okay. I think I heard something. That's probably because you did. Pop the door. I've got a visual. Hello. You must be the last thing here. I'm sorry. Did I interrupt you? That's a shame. Actually, I'll have a, let's see if we can get someone else to kill. Who's a... Uh, Sparky... Sparky, you're pretty low. Okay. Get there. Then blow his head off. I'll get him next time. You've got to be kidding me. Jen can't even see him. Kel. There we go. Well, we got one male. I don't think we actually get got shot at, even though Jen pretty much got surrounded by chrysalids. I'm surprised he didn't even get injured then, because that would have been bad. I only got one meld, but yeah, one's better than none. And I don't think they even... I don't think they even got shot off at us, actually. Not that I'm complaining. I'm quite happy for them to shoot at me. Excellent work, Commander. I'm impressed well, you were able to recover so much of the melt substance without any casualties. Well, well, well. A lot of people have uh, been promoted. Ashley is now a captain. So we got close combat specialist. So it confers a reaction shot against any enemy who closes to within four tiles. Does not require overwatch. Okay. And then we have bring them on. Adds one damage on critical hits for each enemy the squad can see. Okay, so come too close, you get hit. Even though you don't overwatch. The more you see, the more damage a critical hit does. So... Take two shots against target. Uh, what's gonna? Well, we've got already got a plus ten percent critical chance per enemy in sight, which essentially means she's more likely to get a critical hit in the first place. Hmm. I'm not sure which one to pick. Well, I guess this one's probably more likely to be used, purely because I don't think we let them get too close to us. Unless it's a chrysalid, of course, in which case... I don't know. I don't know which one I want. Uh, let, let's go with that. Purely because the chrysalids seem to be very adept at getting close to my people. So we got Kel, who is now a corporal, which puts him in the same line as DG, I think, now. But we've got advanced fire control, which uh, shots from Overwatch no longer suffer any aim penalty, or plus 15 defense when in Overwatch. Well, they doesn't take a genius, or rather they hit the target rather than uh, had a better defense, personally. Our first sniper captain. So it confers a plus 10 aim against targets with less than 50% health, eliminates the aim penalty on reaction shots, and allows reaction shots to cause critical hits. Hmm. Uh, hmm. I don't think we have much problem with his aim. I think this is probably going to be more useful. Who's next? Sparky. So we can have Bullet Swarm or Hollow Targeting. So standard shots with the primary weapon no longer end the turn if taken as effects action. 
and shooting at or suppressing enemies also confers 10, plus 10, 10, uh, plus 10 aim to any enemy ally, ally, fuck! Just fucking read it, because apparently I can't. So, uh, I think we did holo targeting on Dan, and I don't really use it, so that's probably going to be a better option. So there we are, so... Ashley has been on 10 missions. So DG, Jen, and Ashley have all been on 10 missions now. And, uh... All pretty much... Well, no. 15 kills, 11 kills, and 9 kills. Damn. So we've got some floater corpses. Did we get any... ADN alloys! Yes! Thank you! I need that! I love you! So we got... Okay. We got a lot of crap here. So we got two alien stasis tanks, three flight computers, two alien surgery, a UFO power source, and then we got damaged alien stasis tank times four. We got damaged flight comp computer. So we got damaged alien surgery and a damaged UFO power source. Okay, that's not bad. So, in order to end this episode, you're just going to watch me sell all the damaged stuff for. 80 credits. Yeah. Okay then. So that's the thing. I was hoping that would be more. So, and we really need those satellites, like, really, really quickly. Uh, mainly because I want to keep the US, Canada, and Mexico in uh, the entire group, and I need all three of them to get the bonus. Japan, India, Australia, that sort of side I, I'm not too fussed with. But uh, I do want the US side of stuff. And I still haven't captured a damn alien. Never mind. Anyway. Next episode is probably going to be our covert operation down here. Which I've just noticed. And uh, that is it. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, I will see you in episode... 16, which I had to think about. See you guys.